Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install continuity mod for Minecraft Java 1.21.5. So let's get started. The first thing you will do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up mod Winfoxo. And now all you want to do is go on modwinf.com and then you want to click on modwinf. From there all you want to do is once you're on the modwinf homepage, you want to go to the top of the website to discover content and then you want to go down to mods. Now all you want to do is go to search mods and you want to go ahead and search up continuity, so continuity. And here you'll find continuity here and all you want to do is click the name and from there all you want to do is go to versions. And now you want to go to game versions and choose 1.21.5. And here you'll find a beta for Fabric 1.21.5 of continuity mod. But if you can find a release, so multiple versions, take the release. But in this case, we'll use the beta. So here, just click the green download button. And from there, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to the version name here. And from there, you'll see that we need dependencies called Fabric API. So just click that. And from there, just like before, go to versions. Now you want to go to game versions and choose 1.21.5. And here you'll find a beta here, but you'll also find a release for that 1.21.5 version of Fabric here. So just click the green download button for that. And from there, all you want to do is also get yourself a resource pack to use with continuity here. So just go to discover content and then now go to resource packs. Now you can go ahead and find a resource pack online that can work with this, but also some of them do show up, so like continuity like so. And here you also have some specific packs for there. And you can also look at connected textures here as well in the search. And you can find some packs that also works for that as well. So for example, if we get some deep origins overlays here, and here it says requires optifine or continuity mod. So just make sure that it does need that. And if it does, you can go to versions. And from there, you can go to game versions and choose a version which is close to 1.215. And here, you can just do the green download button. And now you have everything you need from Modwinf. So that's everything you need here. And what you want to do here is go to a new tab. And then you need to go ahead and search up something called Fabric Minecraft, like so. And from there, you'll find Fabric MC.net. Just click on Fabric. And now all you want to do is go to the blue download button and now you want to go to the blue download for Windows button here. And you'll now have Fabric to be able to use mods, Fabric mods in Minecraft. So now we have everything that we need. You don't need the, the, the resource pack, it is just to show you it working. And now all you want to do is go ahead and close your web browser and then you want to go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. From there, all you want to do is double click the fabric installer and now you're going to find Minecraft versions here. Just make sure you choose the right version, so 1.20.5 if you choose this for continuity mod and here just do install. Okay, and close. And now all you want to do is go to the Minecraft launcher and we'll have to go and add the two mods of fabric API and continuity mod in the mods folder and the resource packs in the resource packs folder. So here we see that we have Fabric Loader here, and that means you can go to Installations here on the top, then you can go ahead and go to Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. From there, all you want to do is find Mods, and now you want to double click Mods, and then you want to go ahead and go to Downloads, and then you want to go ahead and select the two jar mods and copy them. Now you want to go to the top left arrow to go back to the PS folder and click Paste. And now you have copy pasted Fabric API and Continuity Mod in the Mods folder. And now just go to DOM Minecraft, and now you want to go ahead and go to resource packs and do the same thing if you have a resource pack. So go to downloads, go ahead and select and copy a resource pack and then go to the top left arrow to go back to the PS folder and click paste. And now you have copy pasted a resource pack in the top Minecraft resource packs folder that works with the mod. So now we have resource packs here and we also have mods here. And once you have this you can go to the Minecraft launcher and then you can go to play and you can go to fabric loader here and click the green play button. Now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up automatically.
Okay. So once you have Minecraft here, all you want to do is go ahead and go to a single player world, a server or a realm. And now I'm going to go to a single player world here to show you it working. So basically, here we see that we have Minecraft and we can go ahead and try out the mod. So we can go to escape, options, resource packs, and you'll find a bunch of things that you can activate. These are the inbuilt ones. So if I do default connected textures here, we can just go ahead and activate those. And you won't see much differences until we get ourselves some glass. So we can get ourselves some glass here. And you'll notice that the glass is connected. And for the resource pack we got, so this one here, it will just say an older version, doesn't matter. So work, this just connects different textures together. So if we do done, we will be able to go ahead and try this out as well. So for example, we can go ahead and get ourselves what it seems to be netherrack and uh, I wonder if this works of stone. And if we add this, it will work as you can see here as the textures are connected. So yeah, that is the idea of all of this and it works pretty well. So yeah, that is how we get continuity mod with Minecraft Java 1.25 and a resource pack which also works with that mod as well. So yeah, if you liked this video make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!